Welcome to another VBA tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make more of a user-friendly interface for when you do create those macros. You don't want your users to go into the code here and take a look at what you've done. For the most part, most people are going to not know what this is anyways and maybe screw it up. So let's keep them out of here by creating a button on your main page that will activate your macro. We're not going to get into too much detail because I want to get this to you so you can use it and we'll expand later on in different tutorials. So I've got my code here, I've got a macro called convert to CSV. Every sub that you have, you'll be able to do this with. So if you have multiple subs on one module in your workbook, you'll be able to do this trick. Okay, so let's go back to our actual file. This is the file that I have the macro in. It's stored, so when I press Alt F11, it goes to the actual code. We want to make a button that will actually just do that. Now, this is probably not a practical um, place to put it because this has got some data in it. But typically, you'd have something saying, hey, press me, and I will convert these files for you. You want, to, you want the button to portray what your actual macro is going to do. Let's get, right at, let's get right into it. If you don't have this developer ribbon, you can easily get that ribbon by going File, Options, and then go to your customize ribbon and on the right hand side it should be populated with developer and it should be checked off and hit OK. If it's not you can click on this button here and go to all commands and I believe you can find the developer button in here and move it over make sure it's selected. Let's see if it's there actually. Okay so it might not be so it might automatically be standard here. Once that's done, hit OK and go to your developer tab. You'll see a bunch of um, different controls, add-ins, XML, modify. We're going to go to the add of the uh, controls group and we're going to click on insert and you'll see there's a whole bunch of different buttons. Now you might be familiar with these buttons for regular Excel type um, um, functionality, but now let's click on this very first one that's called button and it says form control. Click on that and it's going to have you draw a rectangle. So let's draw a big rectangle right here. And when I release, it's going to ask me a question. It says assign macro. So this is, this is how easy it's going to be. I only have one macro, so it's giving me the option to convert to CSV. That's the macro's name. Uh, you might be able to go into your personal macro and use one of those as well. However, you have to be careful when you're doing some, some things with shared... Um, uh, networked type things. So I usually keep my macros in the workbook that I'm using. So I'm going to use this workbook and I'm going to click on convert to CSV, hit OK, and you see a button that shows up. We don't want to call it a button, so let's change that name and say convert directory to CSV. And we can change the size of it, move it around a little bit. Be careful. Uh, see how it's got the uh, the hand? If I click on it now, it's going to actually do it. So what I do, because you want to move it or something, if you, you're going to go to click on it, it's going to run the macro. I don't want to run the macro. Right click on it first, then left click on it, and it gives you the options to move it and change the name and stuff. Trust me, you're going to you're gonna mess that up, and you're going to click on it, and you're going to run macros. Don't forget, when you run a macro, there's no undo button. So <laughs> make sure you right click on it, then left click on it. To, to move it around and whatnot. So let's try this out. Uh, convert directory to CSV. I'm ready to go. Uh, first, let's save our work. So Control S, saved. So I saved the macro and I saved my workbook. But now on the left hand side here, I'm going to make all these XLSX change into .CSV. Well, it's going to make a copy. Okay, so convert. Let's do it. It's going to ask me what directory. I want to be in the data directory. Now hit OK and watch on the left hand side. It should be converting all those files. And there's quite a few of them. And it sure beats doing this by hand. Anyways, you can create as many buttons as you want. Lay them out as you like. Just remember, right click on them. Or you can go to this thing called design mode. Make sure that you clicked on design mode and you won't have, uh, well, I believe you won't have as much of a problem. Okay, well, now you can make your macros user friendly. In fact, you can close your IDE. You don't need that open. Your users don't even have to know this is a macro. And that's how you do it. Um, if you want to see how this convert to direct, if you want the code for the convert directory to CSV, watch my previous video and I'll send a link.